All right, guys, good morning. It's uh, November 7th here, and uh, Justin and I are back on the main farm here this morning. And we kind of been uh, covered up a deer so far, um, just getting to the interview. Um, we've got a nice, strong north wind, uh, probably about 15 mile an hour, and it's about 30 degrees out. So it, it's pretty chilly walking in this morning. Um, we elected to come down to the kind of the main uh, bottom food plot here this morning to kind of see what's um, happening. It's it definitely pictures are showing that it's it's kind of going on here um, compared to the lease. So we've already had a three-year-old and possibly a two-year-old kind of pushing does already through the bottom here. And um, a lot of scrape sign and it just kind of uh, seems like it's it's going pretty good here at least. This is a real cool observation spot. Obviously, we have an opportunity maybe try to set eyes on Hightower here. Um, he's really, really close. So uh, we're just trying to put ourselves in the game and and uh, hopefully we'll see something good here this morning. Well, we just got our uh, first sighting of Hightower. Um, kind of looked back behind us here in the creek ditch, and the deer was standing there, and uh, just happened to be him. He was only probably about 25, 30 yards away. Yeah, so it was this deer, a nice 10. That's the clean 10. That's the clean 10. Yeah, he's pushing his butt off. He looked like he's went across the creek here. Yeah, and he's, he's solid, dude. <laughs> he's a five and a half year old deer, and he's gonna come right in. You think he's gonna come in? Yeah, he's crossing the creek. Yeah, he's coming our way. Well, Hightower heard that rustling going on and that blowing while we look back in the thicket where he was at and here he came, come across the creek, came out at 35 yards and obviously was raking the the ground and so forth, kind of showing his dominance. I mean, he's five years old. Um, doesn't have a great rack on him, but obviously he is what he is. He's very mature and uh, 
probably like to try to get a crack at him to get him out of the herd here, but almost had it done. Um, you know, probably for in a tree, you know, he probably would have been shot, but so he went back up in that thicket. I mean, he's he's showing his dominance. I mean, he's rubbing trees and so forth. So he hit the horns a little bit. He snapped his neck, and I don't know if he just didn't see anything over here, or he's gonna kind of take his time and and make a little loop here. But we're gonna keep our eyes peeled, and it still may happen. I mean, it's November seventh. I mean, there are, things are happening here right now. Is this is what the rut's all about? Is exciting. You're on the edge of your seat. And uh, Justin's shaking. <laughs> I don't know if we're cold or if it's just the excitement together, but it's awesome when you get to see one of your hit listers. Welcome to Antler University. It's November 7th and uh, Matt and I are set up today on <clears throat> pretty much food where we know the does are going to be coming to. Um, in our area right here in central Illinois, um, we're, we're, we're still not really seeing rut. I mean, we're seeing a few bucks cruise and the cameras are showing some activity towards the evening hours, but they're really not like full go rut here yet. Um, a lot of good deer hitting the ground in different areas, but between our friends that are hunting here around here right now and us, we haven't really seen that giant fun activity yet. So we're still concentrating on food because the temperatures are really cold here, um, colder than usual this time of year. So we're banking on the the fields that we're sitting on right here. This cut corn just got cut yesterday morning. So we're hoping to have a lot of activity in here tonight when these does come into these fields to feed at some of these bucks. And Hugh is really who we're after in here. We'll come in here to start checking some of those does and just kind of start messing around with them. So it's the first sit Matt and I have ever had in this set. We're super excited about it. Um, we're kind of surrounded by everything that you want here. We got big timber to our west and north where there's a lot of bedding. And then we got some CRP grasses. We kind of call this area the chute. And they generally work right south through this grasses and stuff and not into these fields. So we're pretty excited. Um, should be a fun sit tonight. Right, guys we're back at it here on november 7th the afternoon sit uh we elected to come back into uh the box that we were at this morning um after having a close encounter with high tower and uh seeing i think six or seven total bucks this morning um some definitely some action going on
is it? Seeing him down here tonight, looks like he's he's been in a little warrior. He's been fighting, and one of his eyes closed shut, and he's got a tore ear. Uh, but he's going after it. He's kind of holding this little area down. It kind of seems like, but I mean, it's definitely that time of year. You can tell the bucks are just working it hard, trying to find that doe. So it's been fun set today. Hey guys, it's November 8th and Matt and I are set back up in a spot we call the shoot. This is the same spot we set up in last night. We had a good encounter with Hugh and another solid eight pointer that showed up on this farm. Um, he was over here to our east in a cut cornfield not too far off. Um, but we were pretty much surrounded last night by um, good up and coming bucks and does and small bucks kind of chasing the does around. So um, this is definitely a hub of activity for our cameras and for what we saw last night. So we're pretty confident. Um, as the afternoon rolls out that we should uh, have some good encounters and if not or hopefully get a shot at Hugh tonight.
Matt and I just got back to the shop and uh, pretty much talked through every aspect of that hunt the whole way here. Um, our plan of attack tonight really almost paid off for us. I mean, we were hunting the, the big food um, in a travel corridor area with bedding on both sides and big timber. So um, we saw a lot of deer, we saw a lot of good bucks moving through and then Hugh made his appearance and obviously did what he did. I think uh, I was just about to draw back on him and he must have caught a little whiff of something, um, but I think the Ozonics kind of saved us there because he didn't just bust out of there. Um, he just had a little bit of something he didn't like, um, spent some time out in the field kind of scanning the area for a while, and then hooked back up with his doe and moved out. But um, it was a close call. I feel like we're right on his heels. Um, we're going to keep chasing him. Tomorrow we pretty much have the same conditions, wind out of the southwest. So in the morning, we're not going to dive right back into where we were tonight because um, I think they'll probably still be in those fields. We're going to try to get up on the edge of that stuff to the east and hopefully uh, catch him as he's working back towards bedding. And then tomorrow afternoon, if if we don't capitalize in the morning on him, tomorrow afternoon, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, pretty much the knowledge we gained today and yesterday. Um, he's consistently coming out in that same area of that field. That's another aspect of why we went to the stand we went to tonight is also for observation to see if uh, if he would come out tonight just like he did the night before and sure enough he did so what we're going to do is our plan is to sit in the morning for a while and then get down a little bit earlier than we normally would and then head right into that um, corner area there and, and hang a hang a set and, and sit down and just pretty much hunker down and hunt the rest of the day and hope that he comes out again like he has the last two nights in the same spot offers an opportunity and we can hopefully close the book on Hugh tomorrow.